Hello dear students, welcome to this class of uh, BA part first, General English. And dear students, today we'll talk about another important uh, leader of our freedom movement, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And today we'll discuss the speech, A Trust with Destiny, that was delivered by Pandit Nehru on the eve of India's independence on 14th August 1947. Uh, in this speech, uh, he remembers the past, the glorious past, and suggests ways to build the future for a country that has attained independence after uh, hundreds of years of British rule. He asked the nation to not only serve India but also to serve humanity with dedication. So a very important speech that was delivered by Pandit Nehru on the eve of India's independence on 14th August 1947. Uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, dear students, he was born in Allahabad uh, in the year 1889. He was educated at uh, Harrow and at Cambridge University, highly educated. Uh, he was soon drawn into the vortex of Indian politics and he emerged as a leader of the country's youth, very popular among the youth of uh, that era. He was deeply influenced by the uh, personality of Mahatma Gandhi. And in 1947, he became the first Prime Minister of India and remained so for almost 17 years till his death in 1964. So, a great personality, a learned man, an advocate and he was a dreamer, we can say, an idealist, a humanist and an artist with words and not a mere politician. His writings uh, and his speeches merge with his life and his life merges with the life of the nation a great orator and a great writer. His elegant uh, poetical prose is best captured in letters from a father to his daughter. His autobiography, The Discovery of India, uh, another book, Glimpses of World History, these are his uh, great masterpieces and the speech that he made on the eve of India's independence on 14th August 1947 is very remarkable and often quoted and often taught to students so that they may learn what their great leaders had uh, thought of the future of the country and how our country can progress and achieve uh, the status of a developed nation. So let us uh, now uh, discuss the speech. Uh, I request you to take out your textbooks so that we can uh, learn, we can decipher the meaning of each and every line. So let us begin the speech, I quote, and this is uh, the speech uh, delivered by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Long years ago, we made a trust with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. So straight away he says that we had made this trust with destiny and now the time has come at the stroke of the midnight. Remember, at the stroke of the midnight are when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. So Panditji says that when the whole world is sleeping at midnight of 14th August 1947, India will awake to its life and freedom. A moment comes which comes but rarely in history when we step out from the old to the new. He says that now the moment has come when we will step out from the old to the new when an age ends, the end of an era and when the soul of a nation long suppressed finds a trend. So he admits that the nation, the great nation, India, that is Bharat, has been suppressed for a very long time. And now the time has come for the utterance. 
it is fitting that at this solemn moment we take the pledge of dedication to the service of india and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity so nehru uh, pandit nehru he asked fellow citizens to take the oath to take the pledge of dedication to the service of india that will serve our country and her people and will help humanity live better at the dawn of history india started on her unending quest and trackless centuries are filled with her striving and the grandeur of her successes and failures this is that the history of our country is very glorious it has been very glorious and now with so much suppression from the enemy from the british we will like to work to attain that grandeur and will wash away its failures through good and ill fortune alike she has never lost sight of that quest or forgotten the deals forgotten the ideals which gave her strength we end today a period of misfortunes and india discovers herself again so nehru ji says that now with this date 15 august 1947 we end the period of misery and misfortune and india discovers herself again the achievement we celebrate today is but a step he says that it is only a minor step an opening up of opportunity to the greater triumphs and achievements that await us he says from now onwards from this moment onwards we will work to make this great nation great once again and he say he ask the question are we brave enough and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and accept the challenge of the future so he puts forth a question that are we brave enough to embrace this moment and to take this opportunity as a challenge to build a great future to give, build a great nation then he says that freedom and power bring responsibility the responsibility rests upon this assembly he says this august house a sovereign body representing the sovereign people of india before the birth of freedom we have endured all the pains of labor and our hearts are heavy with the memory of this so some of those pains continue even now nevertheless the past is over he says now the past is over and it is the future that beacons us now so pandit nehru he insists in his speech that what is past is past now we are a free nation and the future beacons us now we have to secure we have to ensure that the country and its people they are served in a better manner in a better way and build a build a great nation he says that the future is not one of ease of resting he says that now that we have attained the first goal of independence we will not take rest here but of incessant strive incessant striving for that we may fulfill the pledges we have so often taken and the one we shall take today he says that we will now work for the achievement for the promises that we made during this long journey of independence and now is the time to deliver with our mm, honest work towards our citizen poverty and ignorance he says the first thing is that the millions of indians suffer it means the ending of poverty and ignorance and poverty and disease inequality of opportunity all these are the great enemies of this country poverty ignorance uneducation and disease we have to fight these 
the ambition of the greatest man of our generation has been to wipe every tear from every eye he says it rests upon us now it is our responsibility to wipe out every tear from everyone's eye that is to make each and every indian a happy lot now it is our time to ensure that nobody suffers from hunger that may be beyond us but as long as there are tears and sufferings as long as our work will not be over says that we will have to work day and night to ensure that our people are brought out from this poverty uneducation illiteracy and diseases so let us make a promise that will make india great again and this is how dear students pandit jawaharlal nehru in his speech on the eve of india's independence on 14 august 1947 uh, he made this promise and he also worked very hard toiled very hard to achieve uh, these promises and he laid the foundation of the great industries in the country uh, the great institutions that were established during his time and how he dreamt of making india a developed nation dear students i hope you have understood this beautiful speech uh, delivered by pandit jawaharlal nehru a trist with destiny thank you very much